Hi guys, uh, it's Mr. Richard. In this video, we are working with functions and relationships. If you are in grade 8 and 9, this video is specifically for you. But if you are not in grade 8 and 9, you can also watch for, for as we know that uh, learning is infinity, we always learn new things every day. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to click on the notification bell and don't forget to press or click on the subscription button that is written subscribe and you only subscribe once right so that you can also don't forget that uh, you'll get notified whenever i drop a new video so let's get started we are working with today we're working with functions and relationships so specifically we'll start with what, you, what, what we call a flow diagram Yes, we are going to start with what you call a flow diagram. A flow diagram consists of, um, okay, I'll explain. It, it consists of inputs, input values, which are your X values. It also consists of um, output uh, values, which are your Y values, as well as the rule, as well as the rule right so this is what uh when you're in grade eight you need to know this is what you call a flow diagram right so today we are going to work with input values and output values using the what the when the rule is known that's what we are going to work with yes uh let's start applying so at number one we are required to find the output values right for you to find the output values you are going to use the rule uh, with the given uh, inputs so this is what we are going to 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 do this is what you're going to do first thing first the um we will take the the input which is your x value and so where there is x we shall put uh this negative one three times negative one definitely that will be negative three and uh negative three minus two that will be negative five so our first output will be negative 5. Then let's place negative 2 here. 3 times negative 2, that will be negative uh, 6. Negative 6 minus 2, that will be negative uh, 8, right? Then let's place 1 here. 3 times 1, that will be 3. 3 minus 2, that will be 1. Okay, let's place 2. 3 times 2, that will be 6. And 6 minus 2, that will be 4. So that's how you can work out with... Uh, that's how you can find the... the the output values right now let's work with number two at number two we are required to find the input values yes we are required to find the input values for you to work out with this um okay let's say the rule was given as 5x minus one yes this is 5x minus one you are required to find the input in other words you are required to find the the, the x values here in this case, you are required to find the y values, but in this case, you are required to find the um, x values. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to say 5x minus 1 equal to the first value there, which is 9, so which is our y value there. Then when we take negative 1 to the other side, when we transpose negative 1 to the other side, it's the same as 9 plus 1. 9 plus 1, that will be 10. Then let's divide both sides by 5. Divide both sides by 5. How many times does uh, 5 goes into 10? It goes 2 times. So we are going to have 2 here. Then let's work out the, 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 the second um, input. So we are given 14 there, which is equals to the rule, which is 5x minus 1. Take negative 1 to the other side. It will change the sign. It becomes positive. 14 plus 1, that will be 15. Then, uh, which is equals to 5x, divide both sides by 5. Okay, divide both side by 5. This and this, they cancel. How many times does 5 goes into, into 15? It goes 3 times. So it will be 3. Right? Okay, let's work out the, um, the fourth input. I mean the third input. So it will be 19. It's equals to 5x minus 1. Then let's take 1 to the other side. It becomes 20, which is 19 plus 20. Which is 19 plus 1, which is 20. So we are equated to 5x. How many times does 5 goes into 20? Definitely it goes 4 times. So it should be 4 here. So let's look at the last uh, the last input value. Uh, remember that we, here we are given 24. So it will be 24 
equated to the root, which is 5x minus 1. Transpose negative 1 to the other side, it will be 24 plus 1, which, is, which will be 25 equated to 5. How many times does 5 goes into 25? It goes 5 times x will be equal to 5, which is your input. So your last input should be 5 there. So that's how you can work out with uh, input and output values. In our next video, we are going to work out we are going to work work out um, the rule when we are given the input and the output. Hope you find this video useful. And don't if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. We love you.